So I'm here with Brian Bruni. And Brian, let's start with Hope Week because you just got some, all, you and your teammates, some very special mail deliveries. Hope Week's been kind of fun for you guys, hasn't it? It has been. It's, uh, you know, I, I like uh, I like doing things like this, and it, it you, you get to see the joy that people have. Um, last night we had some some children and, and you know some young adults that can't be in the sunlight. So um, you know they just kind of had a hard life, and and you know this is kind of our way of trying to help them out a little bit and getting them to come out and enjoy a game and, and hang out afterwards. I know there was a lot of guys here, and Ace was on the guitar, and you know it was a good time. You know. I I'm not looking for sympathy for ball players, and I know you're not either, but there was a long rain delay last night. It was a late night. You're back here, obviously, today, and yet a lot of your teammates did stick around for that event yeah. last night. It was really nice to see. Yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, we're used to it. We play night games, get up the next day and play a day game, and, and our schedules are all messed up all the time. So, uh, you know, it's just a little time out of the day, and, and uh, I think some guys actually stayed a lot later than they were planning, and I had heard of some guys being here till 3 o'clock in the morning. Wow. So. Um, it's a good thing to do, and uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure everybody had a, had a great time. You know, Alex and a couple other guys in there have made the point, you know, everyone's saying what we're doing for these kids this week and these individuals this week, but we're getting a lot out of it. You, the players, get a lot of satisfaction out of making people that happy. Well, I mean, yeah, you do. Um, I guess it makes you feel warm inside, and, yeah. uh, <laughs> you know, it's, I mean, honestly, they're, they're uh, you know, a lot of these Hope Week uh, people, they, they just, they have a permanent smile. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's great to see, and, and uh, you know, everybody, you might not say it, but, you know, it gets you going a little bit, and you're excited to see just how special that uh, they, they feel about it. All right, let's get to you. Let's get to pitching. Let's get to relieving. How are you feeling, first of all? I feel great right now. Um, you know, I, th I think when I came back, um, obviously wasn't pitching that great. And uh, my last outing, I felt like I pitched, I threw the ball very well. And uh, obviously the results weren't there, but... Um, I felt like there was a lot of things that we can build off of and, and hopefully, you know, hopefully they saw some things that, you know, be able to get me in there more often and in bigger situations. Joe Girardi was very encouraging and I talked about that. He said the results aren't what matters right now necessarily. It's the fact that that was his best fastball, that was his best slider. Why do you think things were better this past time out against the Orioles? Well, I think, I think coming off an injury, uh, you know, for, for a pitcher, even with a position player, there's a lot of things that just have to feel right and click and uh, you know it took me a while to, to my for my arm to feel right and there's just a little extension that um, as a pitcher you have to get that extra extension on the ball to be able to get it down and, and, and down in the zone where you want to pitch and uh, I just I couldn't get it and it, you know it wasn't that my arm was hurting it wasn't that you know there was it just wasn't there and uh, you know I think the all-star break I didn't throw for three days came back felt great and uh, you know that was my first outing in a long time but um, it, it felt right to me. It felt right, and uh, I, I don't even know how to explain it. It just felt right, and I'm, I was very excited about it. And uh, you know, it's just, that's baseball. You know, I, th I I thought I threw a good pitch to uh, to Jones, and he kind of ambushed me first pitch and, and hit it out of the park. And he's a great hitter, so uh, as well as Marcakis. But that's that's baseball. You know, I could have threw that pitch right down the middle. He popped it up, and you know, it's a great outing instead of. Nah, it's not that good, but you know I gave up two home runs, and that's that's the way it is. That's those guys. Those guys are good hitters. You were obviously very important to this team, especially if you can get back to the Bruni that was trusted in the eighth inning. How important do you think it is that you regain that form on a consistent basis? Well, you know, honestly, I feel like I'm I'm there. I, I think the last outing, you know, obviously I gave up two home runs, but I felt really, really good about it, and. Uh, you know, that was one of the easier two-run outings that I can sleep on that I've ever had because, you know, I did feel so good. And uh, the confidence is there. And, I, you know, I think, I think before there might have been a little lack of confidence because I just didn't feel right. And, uh, you know, I'm, I, I can't tell you how good I feel right now, honestly. Uh, and I can't wait to get back out there because I feel like it's all there and I feel like it's clicking and I'm not... I mean, I feel like I'm right there where I need to be and, and to step in and be that guy. Because you know, Brian, there's a trickle-down effect. Phil and mm -hmm. Asavis in the pen are two starters. Jabba, if he, could, if he does near this pin, pitch, innings pitch limit, you know, if you can go back to that role that you had, that allows perhaps some flexibility with Asavis or Hughes. I mean, this isn't news to you. You know that all of these parts are linked mm -hmm. together, right? I think there's a... I think there's a big picture and there's a plan for all of the relievers and I think uh, the plan is for me to be a late inning guy and 
I feel like I just need a few opportunities for uh, them to get me in there and, and, you know, for them to see what I can do and, and to, to see that I'm back. And uh, that's all it's going to take. I'm pretty confident that I'll be right back where I need to be the next time I'm out there. You know what the short-term plan is? I think you have to stretch with your teammates. So we're going to let you go. How does that sound, Brian? I'm getting in trouble right now. So I will talk to you guys later.